awesome. I mean, the whole group experience, seeing what other people's ideas are, and kind of incorporating those with your own ideas. I actually kind of planned my whole <laughs> curriculum to get to this course, and like the culmination of all the classes I've taken as a CS major. The main goal of the course is for students to experience the design and implementation of a large software project in 10 weeks. To make it fun and exciting and enjoyable, the project is that the students have to design and implement a multiplayer 3D network video game. It's been really exciting to actually take everything we've learned in the last four years and apply it towards this one large project. I'm not a great fan of games because I, I always lose. I have no patience to like keep on winning. So, but then I say well, it would be interesting to see how they actually do a game. Game programming is the hardest type of programming out there because you have these major constraints and that's, that's definitely something that, that the kids are realizing and, 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 and they enjoy it too because it's a very, very challenging problem to, uh, to try to solve. After you know, being in this class, I realized I actually appreciate games more now that I know the development work that goes into them. I see a lot more in games where I may not have noticed before. So it's the first time for all of us working a big team like this. Because normally I work on like a team of two people, and this is five people, and we have a lot of different ideas. It's also a bonding experience. They're in a relatively large group, and they're working with other students on this very difficult project, but they have a very, very clear goal in mind, and they're all along on the same journey, having a good time. We have a total of 19 weapons in the game, which you create from mixing and matching uh, weapons you pick up around the environment. I specifically worked on the networking, um, a little bit the engine, and mostly sound and music. We run around and um, pick up bombs and throw them at other players. And um, the graphics design is um, supposed to be cute and cartoony. We have a new lab that the students can use that have brand new machines, brand new video cards. Uh, it is really state of the art. And I think that the, the look and feel of the games this year do reflect the fact that we're able to use this, this new equipment. We use various effects such as HDR, high dynamic range imaging, which blurs and smears the scene. Um, we also have tone mapping, which alters the colors of the scene. So our game looks nothing like anybody else's game. I think we were able to create something that was not simply one person's idea of his own game, but it was a melding of everyone's, uh, everyone's dreams and visions. We have a number of students who've taken the course, who have gone on into the gaming industry, work in local games companies in the San Diego area, and over time, they have come back to me asking for students who might be interested in doing internships and having jobs at the company. That class is a lot of work. It takes a lot of time out of their day. And uh, you know that they really like video games if they, if they completed that course. And that's you know, something that we want here. We want people who are enthusiastic about the gaming industry. In order to get that first job, it'll be nice to be able to say, you know, I've worked on a you know, large distributed software system. You know, this is the web page. Would you like to download it and play?